Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video I'm going to introduce you to the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. In this video I'm only going to cover the features and specifications, but if you like this video and you're interested in Raspberry Pi, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have future videos coming out very soon that are going to show you how to install and set up the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B, and also some cool projects you can do with it. Now the most amazing thing about the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B is its incredible size. It's about the size of a credit card. So it packs actually a full function computer into the size of a credit card. And it's the same size as the previous generation Pi 1 Model B Plus. It weighs about 45 grams. It's very light in addition to being small. And it has four mounting holes around the outside edge for easy installation into a variety of cases. There are a number of cases online available for the Model B for under $10. So aside from the physical specs, the other, probably the second most amazing thing about the Raspberry Pi is its cost. Now these are available on Amazon for about $35. And they're available for about the same price on several authorized resellers listed on the Raspberry Pi website. So the core controller on the Raspberry Pi Model 2B is the system on a chip, SOC chip, and that comes from Broadcom. It's a Broadcom 2836. It has a built-in CPU, the GPU or graphics processing unit, a digital signal processor, SD RAM or cache, and a USB controller. The CPU is a 900 megahertz quad-core ARM processor and the GPU is Broadcom's own Video Core 4. It's a 250 megahertz processor. It supports OpenGL and it has high definition MPEG decoding built in. Now when you look at the layout you can see the uh, four mounting holes around the outside edges and in the middle, this is not to scale by the way, uh, the SOC chip does most of the control functions on the board. So there's an I.O. controller, there's a cache controller, a GPU controller, a USB controller, plus a four-core ARM processor, all built into the SOC chip. And on the printed circuit board, there's a block of 40 general purpose input and output pins, which I'm going to cover in more detail in a future video, so I don't go into depth on this in this video. On the right side, four USB 2.0 ports, and an RJ45 10 or 100 megabit Ethernet port, which internally is wired into the USB controller. On the bottom, there's an audio out controller, which is a standard headphones jack, and it also has a composite video out in the same connector. There's a camera port. There's an HDMI output for high definition video. The power input is actually a micro USB connector. There's a micro SD connector on the back side of the board, which you'll see in a second. This is the only storage available. And then there's a video port for a low definition video control, uh, display panel and one gig of memory soldered on board. So the specs, we already talked about the ARM processor. There's one gig of RAM which is shared with the GPU. There's 40 general purpose I.O. pins, four USB ports, plus an Ethernet port that is wired into the USB internally. The Ethernet port has an RJ45 connector. You don't really need the Ethernet port though. If Instead you may opt to use a USB Wi-Fi connector. Uh, the power input is standard 5 volts. It's powered by a USB cable. Uh, it draws 800 milliamps or about 4 watts of power. The graphics core is a video core 4 3D graphics processor. And it supports a full HDMI output as well as a display interface. And you also have a composite video output built into the audio jack. So you can plug in either uh, headphones or a composite video out for that jack. There's a camera interface and a micro SD card slot for storage. Now the micro SD is where you're going to put your operating system. It supports a full range of Linux operating systems. So here's a nice picture of the Raspberry Pi, the front side of the board. And in the very middle you can see our Broadcom SOC chip. And it has a heat sink on top to keep it nice and cool. Four USB ports on the right. These are USB 2.0 ports. Here's our Ethernet port, 10 or 100 megabit Ethernet. Power in on the bottom left here, HDMI port, display output, audio jack, camera port, and GPIO pins, which I'll cover some of these in more depth in uh, future videos. But today I just want to show you what all features are available and what connectors we have available on this board. On the back side, 
You have a memory chip, one gig of DRAM soldered on board. That's not upgradable. And there's a micro SD card slot. Is the sole uh, storage option for the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. So there's no hard drive support. There's no SATA support. And it's purely micro SD card. So you're going to install the operating system on micro SD, and I'll show you how to do that in a future video. So the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B packs a lot of functionality and a lot of features, a lot of connectors, and a lot of compute power into a very small package about the size of a credit card. It could actually almost fit inside of an Altoids tin, except the, uh, the corners aren't rounded quite enough and some of the connectors stick out a little bit. But otherwise, it, it's the size of an Altoids tin, which is pretty small. It's a very small, compact form factor. And for the price, $35, you can't beat it, which is why these are so wildly popular, and especially in the education market, where you can do a lot of different projects to learn about computing. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm going to have follow-up videos that cover a lot more of the features in depth and how you can use some of the functionality of the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. For more information, see raspberrypi.org. I'm Joe James. Thank you for watching.